Since the Rohingya exodus from Myanmar, millions of Rohingyas were displaced in refugee camps in the region. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina told the United Nations in 2018 that there were roughly 1.1 million Rohingyas living in overcrowded refugee camps in Bangladesh. On Friday, more than 1,600 Rohingya refugees were relocated to Bashan Char, an island that rose from the sea less than two decades ago. We like it here. We were provided assistance at our earlier shelter, and we hope to get assistance here as well. After coming here from Cox's Bazaar, we are getting everything as promised by the Prime Minister of Bangladesh. Non-governmental organizations have begun working to provide humanitarian services to the Rohingyas in Bashan Char as Rohingyas prepare themselves to live there permanently. For the time being, they are provided ready-made food and have also been promised to receive daily necessities. You can see a festive mood in all. We have prepared facilities that keep 100,000 homeless Rohingyas here. 22 NGOs are doing voluntary work to help settle Rohingyas here. Everything is going smooth. Human rights activists believe the island is prone to floods and not safe for Rohingyas. However, the Bangladesh government disagrees. Another wrong piece of information they were given is that the Bashan Char Island will sink, which is wrong. There are 75 islands surrounding this Bashan Char, and they have been there for a long time. The relocated Rohingyas have been sending their updates to their relatives in Cox's Bazar. Bangladesh government will monitor the first wave of refugees and how well they do before relocating the next wave of Rohingyas. For Muazzam Hussain Shakil in Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh, Bejan Hamdard. VOA News.